If you had to choose your favorite GMT split bezel, what would it be? Of all of them. <sighs> I'm Emily, Senior Marketing Manager here at Bob's Watches. Hi, I'm Justin, Director of Photography. We are here with Watch in the Box. Yes, this does look a little bit different, but let us explain. You guys have been a part of this Watch in the Box 2.0 journey with us for 45 plus episodes. It's been awesome. We've brought three watches to the table every week um, to show you kind of what's new and what's coming to bobswatches.com. Well, we have a little bit of a shift and Justin, you're the perfect person. We're to making kind of, some changes. We yeah. are. I don't know if you remember, I don't know if any of you guys out there remember, but when we originally started the very first watch in the boxes, mm -hmm. um, it was, we were opening a package that we got in. Yes. And the entire idea was we get so many watches every single day and we kind of never know what we're gonna get. Mm -hmm. I mean, literally anything could show up. Yes. Um, we see crazy Paul Newman's, these super rare one-offs, you know, we see things that uh, are, you know, not genuine, we, we just, we see it yeah. all. And it's really interesting and we wanted to share that with you guys. Yes, so the reality is we don't know what's coming. When the shipment unloads, we don't know what we're going to get. So we wanted to kind of pull back that cover and show you guys a little bit of the excitement of unboxing these watches with us. So we will get a box each episode and we will get to unbox it together. So also, yeah, we have a little bit of a leaner crew. Our friend Brandon is focusing on some other vintage content. So he will be sporadically joining us, especially if we get to open something and it happens to be vintage. We are going to run out. We're going to yes. go grab him. We're going to make him sit in here and have a fun conversation about whatever we open in that box. So before we get to this updated version of Watch in the Box, would you like to do a wrist check and make us feel normal for a some second? Some things never change. Uh, Batman. Love the Batman. I will always wear it. Um, this is the one on the Oyster. Mm -hmm. uh, great watch. Fantastic. What do you on got you? on today? I have a fun vintage Rolex oh, cocktail. cocktail. We've yeah. got a little bit of diamonds um, up top and down below, but uh, yellow gold. So I really love how pretty. all these are so different. I think yep. I say this every time it comes up, but seriously, never like, there's just quite like always this, a new you? cocktail that I've never seen before. I love that mesh bracelet, yes, by the way. I do too. Yeah. Gorgeous. As always, be sure to let us know what you guys are wearing while watching. It's so fun to see the gamut of what everybody yeah, else is enjoying those, and as yeah. it changes over the episode to episode. Uh, I love just hearing what you guys are wearing. So be sure to tap into the comments and let us know what you have. So, okay, Should new we episode. Get into it? I wanna know what box are we gonna get today to open up? Open this guy up and yes. see what we have. Okay, looks like a Rolex box. Okay. Yes, Rolex box, looks new. It does look new. Guess we're not grabbing Brandon for this episode. You ready? Moment of truth. Do you want to try to give me some details? Can we close my eyes? You want you want to try and guess at it? Let's okay. see. Okay, I do see. kind of. I want to play. I want to play a game. Is it okay. good? Okay. All right. Okay, it's good. Bracelet detail. Oyster or Jubilee? It's Jubilee. Jubilee. Is it a date just? No. Is it steel two tone? Oh, hint. It's brand new. Brand new? Mm -hmm. <gasps> okay. Okay. We just had the GMT. And is it another Sprite? No, but you're close. Really? It is. Let me see. The two-tone GMT. <gasps> no way! From this year with the black and gray dial. I haven't seen this one yet. I don't think we have got this one yet. Okay. We did have the solid gold version yes. one time. Yes. But we have not seen the two-tone. It's sold in one day as many great yeah. things do. Okay, I, you guys, for a little backstory, uh, my experience is in professional sports. So I've only been working in watches for like mm -hmm. three years okay. and I'm learning, right? Like this is a very unique industry. It, it is. It, it has lots of history, but tons of new stuff too. <gasps> wow. Yeah. Two-tone is my current obsession and what a two-tone piece. I feel like this is a very Emily watch. So uh, what we have is the new Rolex GMT Master II. One two six seven one three. Yep. Uh, G R N R. Yes, it um, is. And it has the two tone bezel and the black and gray, which yes. this is the first time Rolex has done that. Um, like I said, we've had the solid gold version. Yep. This is the two tone with uh, yellow gold and stainless. Yeah. Um, and this I, was my watch of watches I and wonders. Really like it. It was your watch yeah, of watches I and wonders. Yeah, I love this, but it's funny because a lot of the coverage was actually around the yellow gold version. It was sure. kind of just an homage to the vintage getting back on uh, the vintage GMT getting back on Jubilee, mm -hmm. and I loved it. Even the split bezel, it wasn't as prominent as I think it is in mm -hmm. person, but it's funny. I think I like it more on the two-tone. Okay, I was gonna say that. Um, on Watches and Wonders, I think, um, you know, my feeling and statements were, I gotta see it in person. Yes. You know, I kind of liked it. I wasn't 100% sold mm -hmm. on it, and sometimes you just feel like you gotta see it in real life. Um, I liked the gold one. 
I definitely like the two-tone better, which is not a real Justin thing because two-tones no. aren't my main Neither of us like, at all. Um, but I think the way that the bezel and the color of the black and the gray, the gray mm -hmm. I think goes with the stainless mm -hmm. so well um, that it really just, you're it so looks right. better in two tone. We talk about the like total package, and I think with the decision to do the split bezel here, the two tone works so well with it. Yeah. And I think it is a little bit of the like fluted bezel, mm -hmm. or the, I guess it's the beveled edge. Mm -hmm. It kind of catches the light that works so well with the two tone and the Jubilee. Yeah. And yeah. It's so good really together. Really nice. And okay, so this was released this year, Watches and Wonders yeah. 2023. Um, and this is, uh, you know, 40 millimeter. Mm -hmm. Big watch. Uh, Big watch, Rolex is standard, sport model size. Um, also has the 3285 movement, so 70 hours worth of power reserve. Um, has the fold over oyster, oyster clasp. <laughs> great, great watch. I'm so excited we got one. Like I said, this is the first time we had one. Um, but a beautiful watch, and this is a perfect example of yeah. why we love this, because we never pounding. know what's coming in. I'm actually kind of speechless. I did not expect this, especially just getting one a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Typically, it takes a while for us to see some of these newer arrivals. Um, I mean, obviously we buy sure. from the public. You get all our watches from the public. Yeah. So once so they're released, they someone them. has to buy one and then sell it to exactly. us. And that sometimes that's pretty quick. Sometimes it takes a long yeah. time. Um, this one was, you know. How fun. It'll, I guess on our side, it's always unique to see great pieces that come in, especially full set. I mean, yeah, this is brand a- brand new, got the box, original. It's, you know, kind of right to us. So this um, is beautiful a watch, watch. fans dream. I really appreciate seeing this one in person. Again, love the stainless and the gray. Yes, um, it will be fun to see how quick this one goes. Yeah, we'll go fast. You know people are looking It will looking go fast, for this. yeah, yeah. Also love just to see the new GMT bezel colors. Yeah. Right, like I let, you know, Coke and Pepsi and the Sprite. They've and the, done a great job All with these them. different colors, like I love when something new comes out because it's exciting. I like to see it. I like to see something different, right? If you, so, had, to, if you had to choose your favorite GMT split bezel, what would it be? Of all of them. Okay. The, Current, the Coke discontinued, is all of them. Extremely classic and I love it. But I think my favorite bezel mm -hmm. is that green and black. The, the new, green. I wonder. I love that. I, one, I love green. Yes. I think it's, it, I love it. The, it combo, the combo different. together is phenomenal. Yeah. And it, on steel, fantastic. It will be fun to see if they choose a different metal type to kind of use that split sure. configuration on in the future. But until then, I think their first iteration was And the left hand configuration, I've, it's grown on me a lot. I'm not completely yeah. sold around on it. If it was on, you know, the standard, if it was on a configuration like this, yeah. um, I think I would be 100% hands down on the watch as a whole. Mm -hmm. But you just asked about the bezel color. That one's my favorite. I'm actually curious, what do you guys like? Sure. There's a lot of different GMT two-tone bezels. Do you want bezels. to know what mine is? Yes. I actually give Brandon Frazen a little nod to okay. this. I am fully obsessed with the vintage two-tone root, root beer, beer GMT. Yeah. Especially when the dial starts to get a little patinaed and gar starts to get that even like chocolatier dial mm -hmm. color. Oh, with that split bezel, it's just perfection. Yeah. Truly, yeah. truly perfection. Gold within it too, it just sings. A little bit mm -hmm. like what I noted here. I this just, is one of the that. most subtle ones, so I'm kind of curious what people think too. That like, one's growing on me it, a lot. It's not something that's immediately apparent when you see it on the wrist. I mean, mm -hmm. it almost looks like a little reflection, uh, you For know, me, a change in light. Yeah. It's not until you really get up on it that you notice that it is that's a, true. two shades of the For gray. For me, I really enjoy the neutralness of the split bezel. I'm not yeah. a big fan of poppy punch sure. through colors unless it makes sense. So I think this actually works with a lot more of a neutral palette yeah. on the daily. So if this became a daily, Daily wear, Whew. that would be good so one. awesome. Yeah, so yep. Very excited to see this. Really fun find. Be sure to keep an eye on bobswatches.com slash new arrivals. We have hundreds of new watches that get added every day. This will be one um, that gets added here very soon. So welcome to the revised Watch in the Box, The revised Justin. Watch in the Box. This is fun, I'm excited. Um, I'm excited to share some new stuff that we get and uh, I think it's gonna be a great series. I think more than anything, it's gonna be really fun to share the excitement with you guys. So thank you guys for it, yeah. it kicking off this new version of Watch in the Box. We hope you'll tune in with us again next week. So until then, be well.